What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Son of a Boy Dad Podcast. Today is Monday, December 20th, five days before Christmas Day. One day before the winter solstice, and days will start getting longer in two days. Oh, wow. That's fun. That's nice. I Little, didn't know that. Yeah. But before we get into all of that, we're going to go ahead and thank our presenting sponsor of today's episode, Dat Chat. Dat Chat. Dat Chat. That chat, chat. that chat is my number one travel companion whenever I'm on the road. And if I'm at home, you know I'm using that chat. And even in the commute, I'll use some that chat. I use it everywhere in my life because it's the best encrypted messaging app that exists on the internet. All my friends use it. We talk about the show. We talk about Son of a Boy Dad on that on chat, chat. Right on that chat. You can, uh, gives you the ultimate level of privacy. Now you can message and share with people you know, and the way you normally do. Send a bunch of drunk texts you regret. You can self-destruct all of them and pretend they never happened. <laughs> what? Sending private pictures. Dat chat is great because no screenshots allowed. I like to keep most of my pictures private because I value the ownership of my own information. And that's why mm-hmm. I use that chat. Dat chat. Go to datchat.com slash barstool to get more info and download Dat chat. Seriously, fucking use Dat chat. Because they will check it and they will process it and it will factor into how much SAS gets paid. It will. Should we uh, let out these stogies? Well, what do you want to do first? <laughs> Spark up your stoke or uh, do a reveal of the fucking, the fresh buzz, the buzz light year, the buzz Aldrin, the buzz from home alone. Let me light up my stoke here. All right. Light up your stoke first. Stoke time. Rhoda and I are quite far away from each other today. Why? As COVID has made a vicious return. <laughs> Dude, I was just talking to Pete in the kitchen about COVID, and he was just like, oh, Omicron's going to get everyone. It's going to destroy everyone. It's awesome. He was, well, I've never seen someone root for Omicron. Coming from an Omicron survivor, um, it's actually not that bad. It's just, I, apparently, so apparently the symptoms are way less severe. Hmm. Did you fuck up your cigar? No. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, you cut off half the cigar. If you don't want to smoke one, just let me know. I only wanted to smoke half. Bro, this is, you could never go on Joe Rogan. Yes, I could, bro. Joe Rogan would hate Dude, you. has anyone said Rogie Stogies? I feel like that should have been that should be the segment name. Presented by Dat Chat. Welcome to Rogie Stogies, presented by Dat Chat. Look at Saz fucking chief that thing, bro. <laughs> Why did it sound so loud when you blew it away? Cool. It's going to be a long episode. We're actually doing a race, believe it or not. Here, you can have this later. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Bro, these are not the Cubans that you told me we were going to get. <laughs> Bro, mine's a Macanudo, of course. The Inspirado br- blend. <laughs> Medium body blend. I gave you the heavy body blend because I knew you could handle it. Are there smoke alarms in here? <laughs> this shit is. Here, Owen. Um, all right, yeah, so should I do the hair reveal? I have an explanation before because it is short. Yeah, let's talk about it. What, Here, what I'll made pop you do off the top? Yo, you look my, sick, bro. Let me get my shit right, though. <laughs> <laughs> you look like American History X. <laughs> it's fire. Um, you look like you went to prison and converted to Arianism. Yeah. So, so basically, I shaved it. It was a heat of the moment thing. My hair was disgustingly long, and I was so sick of wearing the hat constantly, even though I'm wearing the hat still. But now I'm wearing the hat for its purpose. Like I'm wearing the hat just because I'm cold. And now you can be inside. Yeah. Just fucking shaved up, dude. Just with a fucking fresh <laughs> fucking cut. <laughs> just sucking a cigar and having a fresh shaved head. How does it feel? It looks good. sweet. It looks good. You like how it looks? No. Um, so <laughs> but I don't hate it either. Like I'm not like last night I would say was the closest to like a little bit of a breakdown about it. But like, beside from that, like I was expecting to be like, like I was expecting to be like shaving it and then like, just like start crying and be like, oh my God, I can't go back now. But, uh, but then you put up a tweet that did numbies and yeah, I, also, any bad I feeling talk about that tweet too. Any oh, dude, I love it. You got shit to fucking talk about. <laughs> Bro, I had so many people who thought I cut my hair, like did that haircut like just for the tweet. People were like, bro, this is such a low moment doing this for the fucking tweet. It's like, obviously I took the picture halfway through the haircut. No, nah, bro, you did it just for the tweet, bro. I know what the fuck happened. And then, uh, so then I, I, so I used the razor, the clippers that we had at our apartment and we only had a one. Well, one was the lowest, like it was the highest you could go. I, w- I wish I went with like a two or a three. And 
He looks fine. I liked how it looked. Like I didn't look bald. Yeah, you look dope. And then no, it looks no, no, intentional. No. Now it looks. Now it's a zero. So then I'm going to shower because I'm covered in hair, and I'm like, kind of like I'm like, oh, there's some stray long hairs on the top of my head. So I was like, I'm gonna clean it up. And you over buzzed it. I go over it again. Turns out I was on a zero. No. So like, it's honestly probably longer. Like, yeah, you can like feel hair here now. Uh-huh. Before this was just skin. <laughs> there was nothing here. And I was like, like I have a, I have pictures I can show you. I was straight up bald, like not no hair. <laughs> Why did you put up pictures of that? Because that was like funny. Because that wasn't funny. That was like I was just like mortified and like holy shit, I'm literally bald. Yeah, it had a little chemo chemotherapy look to it. Now you look like the dude from Prison Break, kind of. Yeah, that's what that that's how low I like. That's how short it feels. Like, look at this, dude. <laughs> No hair on that hair. <laughs> oh fuck, bro! You look like, oh what? That's bald. <laughs> you look like the dude from Cash Cab in that one. <laughs> yeah. So that Ben was, Bailey. Uh, that that sucked, but uh, I mean, I'm glad that no one's here in the office today, because because what? Because what would they even fucking say, dude? You beat the it fuck out of them. Whole thing. Look at you Still right now. Seems to be all over me. You look like Mike Vallali. You know. beat the My fuck. My dad out. loves it. My dad said it's the most badass thing he's ever seen. Really? Mm-hmm. Had did you just send him pictures of it? No, I FaceTimed him. <laughs> it goes so much better with a cigar. Dude, when I was younger, I used to smoke cigars. I fucking bet. And I would just inhale the entire thing. Was it, uh, did it give a little little tickle to the throat? Did it make you feel a little queasy? When when I was in like ninth grade, I went through, a, we, me and my friends went through a big like tobacco phase. And we would just buy, we would have the older kids in high school buy us like a hundred packs of Swisher Sweets and like Black and Milds and we would just smoke them all day. Just to the face? And that was all, a badass thing. It was, awesome. thing, it, it was a badass thing great. to do. The little wooden tip on a Black oh, and Mild yeah. or something like that. It feels, it kind of feels, or passing around a Black and Mild, passing around a $2 cigar amongst the boys, not this even really like, getting high. Probably like the second time I've ever like really. Oh, don't ash it, bro. You don't ash the cigar. You don't ash, you don't ash a stogie. That's my bad. Yeah, you never ash a stogie. I'm glad I know that now. Yeah. Because that's an embarrassing mistake that I could make. Oh, and want to toss me that lighter too? Yeah, let's keep these fucking stogies popping. Let's keep these things rolling. So what inspired you to shave your head? What made you say, you know what? I'm just going to shave it as opposed to a traditional haircut. Um, I had COVID. So I couldn't get a traditional haircut, but it was time for a haircut. You could have waited a couple days and just got a tr- traditional haircut today, your first day out of the clink. Well, I always wanted a, I always wanted to see what it would look like with a buzz cut. Why? I don't know, because I've never had one. It looks sweet. I don't hate it. It looks dangerous. I feel good. Like, it feel, like I, dude, I'll, I'll lay at night in bed and I'm just, just rubbing my head all for hours. That's what I told you. It feels so good. Rubbing your head, and I haven't showered. Does it like, feel good on your hand? Since I cut it. Does it feel no good on your hand, shower. or uh, yeah, your your hair never gets <laughs> dirty. There's literally no reason to shower anymore. I can smell your nuts from here, but your <laughs> hair doesn't. Fucking, you don't need the shampoo. Yeah. Did it? Does it feel good on your hand when you rub it, or oh, does it yeah. feel good on Everything. your head? I like what I really like to do is I like to press down on my head, so like it gets nice and warm, and then I remove my hat, my hand, and then you can feel the cold air on my scalp, and it feels great. That does feel, seem fucking sweet. Or like you pop off the head, you're like, go for a little bike ride with the hat on, take oh, yeah. the hat off, and then the steam's coming off your fucking, the, your top knot. Today was actually, or like right before we came here was the first time I'd been outside since the cut, and it was cold. Yeah, dude. It is fucking cold out. You're going through it. You yeah. were for a while. How crazy did you go? Because if I were you, I would have gone pretty fucking crazy. Because you weren't even leaving your room, right? Uh, I like the like, fact that Owen lives with you and didn't get COVID, yeah. has tested negative for seven straight days. So I, or I more than that. by the rules for the most part. I went on a walk one morning pretty early when like no one was out. I think that was on Friday, like this Friday. And uh, Super spreader. It felt bad. Didn't feel good. But I went down by the water. I was the only one there. Anytime anyone would come over, I'd throw the mask back on. That's smart. And plus you were outside. Yeah, I played by the rules. Um, <laughs> but I really do think like it, it, it's crazy. Like we're going to like with COVID coming back and Omicron, Omicron, Omicron. Yeah. It's like Omicron being the relentless bitch that she is. Yeah. It's like supposed to be. So it's like apparently it's like 500 times more contagious than regular than other strains or other variants. And um, 
it's like I was sick for so I it was Friday night. I like was hanging out with Owen and other people and I was like, I feel terrible. And then I found out that two other people at the office had COVID who sit next to me. So then I was like, oh shit, I definitely have COVID. So then I went to Dwayne Reed. I bought a, I bought like a test, like a at home test, tested negative. And then I was like, this can't be right. Like I'm, I feel like ass. Nick was sick. So then I, and Nick didn't even end up having COVID. But he had the flu. Crazy. So you yeah. might've, maybe no, you have so, both though. You know what yeah, I mean? You might've have flu brawling inside of you with the Omicron and then the yeah. Omicron was just whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But so I, so then I woke up on Saturday, like paralyzed. I was so sick like high ass fever, couldn't move. So sick. And then, uh, Sunday morning I was fine. And then I haven't been sick since then. So I was sick for like under a day. And, but then I had to lay in bed for 10 days. And I was like, at what point is that worse for you than actual COVID? Your dick must be blasted. Oh yeah. I was jerking off like <laughs> eight times a day. No, I really wasn't. I like ran out of testosterone quick. What do you mean? You just by sitting around? What Dude, were you eating? Like, just takeout for every single meal. Every meal? It was disgusting. And they would just bring it to the door and you would just kind of waddle downstairs with your sick ass? No, I, they would bring it. I, I do. I bring that. I have them bring it upstairs to my apartment. To your actual... I let them in and then they come tuck me into bed. <laughs> <laughs> feed me. Just feed you a little cheeseburger bite. Of course, they get infected. Bro, stop asking that, dude. You were going to get kicked out of the... Now you're not going to get... Now we're both not going on Rogan. Oh, we're going on Rogan, bro. It's we're not time. We're not gonna fucking go on Rogan after that bullshit. After that Gillis interview, bro. We're <laughs> going on Rogan. Yeah, dude. What a fucking what a goat that dude was. Yeah, that was great. Oh, there's Evan. Why are you why are you noticing people like that? We are back in the in the radio room, the glass tank room. Well, that's our roommate, bro. I was just with him. And did he get sick? Nope. No one got sick except me. That's fucking weird. I know. That's super weird. I don't like it one bit. But uh you, neither. You fucking made it through, dude. You fucking made it through to the other side. You were playing a bunch of, uh, what Apex. were you playing? Apex? Apex Legends. It was actually concerning how, like, little, like, so it started, it, there would be, like, brief points in the day where I would be like, fuck, this is awful. Like, I need to get out of my apartment. But for the most part, dude, like, I got used to it. After, like, day four, I was used to it. And, like, I honestly, like. What do you mean used to it? Like, like you could have just stayed dude, inside I forever? Used, I was used to just like chilling in my room and playing video games all day. So you could be institutionalized pretty easily. Yeah, very easily. You could do, because in a lot of, t you see prison like TikToks where dudes are just fucking filming themselves in jail or whatever. Dudes have TV setups. Yeah. They're playing video games. They're gambling. They're cooking with each other. You think you could do some time in the bank? No. No, definitely not. Because I, I was on the phone. I was, I would just call one person. Bro, they have up, cell phones. They hang up and then I would call another person. Like I was, I was keeping busy. <laughs> I think they have cell phones in prison. <laughs> Very, yeah. No, they're not allowed to though. I think they do. Like cell phones, like, like the people that are on TikTok definitely aren't allowed to be making those TikToks. But they're doing it anyway. You weren't allowed to go for a walk by the water. It didn't stop you. Because you're a fucking shaved head That's renegade, true. dude. You're like Sinead O'Connor. It felt bad. You know who Sinead O'Connor was? No. He was this Irish freedom fighter. Fucking legend, bro. You you low-key look like him. He said, fuck the Pope. He fucking, he, he damn near brawled out with the Pope. That's a good idea. You wouldn't fight the Pope. No. The pipe swings on people. I remember that video of the pipe, of the Pope, uh... <laughs> he said the lady. pipe swings on people. <laughs> the Pope swings on people. Remember the video of the if him oh, swinging yeah. on that lady. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he hit a woman. The Pope should get one superpower for being the Pope. Like he should have super strength. Like He's he can't to molest children with no consequences. <laughs> That's a superpower. But they should pivot off that one. Like they kind of have beaten that that plot line into the ground. Yeah. Like they should choose flight or super strength or invisibility. Like just just be able to clobber some lady. Like you can't be getting grabbed up if you're the Pope. You can't be getting out uh, roughhoused if you're the Pope. No. Pope's got a roughhouse a little bit harder. You watched that uh, Louis C.K. special? No, I didn't. You didn't? No. Is it good? Yeah, it's pretty funny. You fucking obviously watched it. You've been... I watched it actually... On uh, solitary uh, confinement. I watched it not last night, but the night before. And it was... I watched it late at night. I kind of want to rewatch it. But there was some funny, some funny jokes in it. Should we... Uh should we just pause the, the podcast and watch it all right now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should we take a break and, and watch it all? What was his best joke? I'll let you give away one joke as a treat. Just as a... Uh, I he know, doesn't really like... The thing is he doesn't do like quick jokes. His jokes are all so long. So it's hard to like tell them. 
He's got a funny joke about. Uh, I saw one on Twitter about uh, 9-11. Yeah. Which one was? Oh, the like 9-11s in terms of death. Yeah. That one was funny. He um, just does a good job of making a joke out of something that like a lot of people have kind of noticed, thought about, but they hadn't compartmentalized their thoughts yeah. in, in the way that he made it. Yeah. He, he had a joke about Goodwill Hunting that was really funny. Just like about how like. Matt Damon wrote the character and the character's like the greatest person ever and then Matt Damon plays him. It was funny. It was a good it was a good joke. Yeah. That's like if Superman was written by Clark Kent. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I watched uh Funny People last night. You Never saw that? that one either, bro. It's Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler. Seth and who Rogen. and Eminem, right? Eminem's in it. The yeah. goat's in it. Yeah. Slim Shady's in it. What That's is he? A good movie. What is Slim Shady doing it? Is he, he is a stand up or something? Adam Sandler? Yeah. Adam in that Sandler's movie? Adam a stand up. Seth Rogen is and Jonah Hill is, um, but it's mostly Seth Rogen and Adam Sandler. And Eminem. did it remind you of yourself? Did you see some of yourself in there? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because he's sick in the movie, and it felt like me. <laughs> like I got a second. I feel like I got a second lease on life. Did you shave your head when you were sick to see what cancer would feel like? <laughs> <laughs> no. When did I shave my head? It was only a couple days ago. Yeah. I. It's weird though, dude. Like I'm bald. It's fire. You should go fight someone. It looks intentional in the way that your kind of shaggy hair didn't look intentional, which I think is hotter. Yeah. Um, have you been getting more pussy recently? Yeah. <laughs> huh? No, I have COVID, bro. <laughs> that shit's contagious. There should be a COVID, uh, like uh, Tinder for COVID people. So you could just link up with yeah, somebody else should. on lockdown. That's a good idea. Just while people are fucking under lock and key. What are they going to do? Fucking... I think this Omicron is going to, uh, you ever see when there's like a forest fire that's like leaking out and then the firefighters light like a smaller brush fire yeah, in like a circle around it? Yeah. I think that it's going to burn through like that. I think that it is going to get everybody though. I Dude, think that this I, shit is they fucking- They said the other day it was like the most cases New York's ever had. Yeah. But people aren't dying from it or what? I don't know. I don't fucking know either. Dude. I have no idea. I don't know I what any of the stats new. are. Do you think we're going to go back into lockdown? I don't know. What if we do? do what I would if, not mind. Jake said, no. Nah. <laughs> you wouldn't mind because you just need Jake more. Jake voted for Trump like three times. <laughs> Jake told me he would vote for Trump a third time if he could. <laughs> but he's only won once. <laughs> He'll be back though. Yeah, but you could have voted for him twice. Actually, technically, didn't he? He's run three times, right? When was the first time? A couple of years, like way before he became president, I think. Was he on the ballot ballot? No. Dude, these things burn slow, dude. No wonder Rogie's going fucking four hours. I know. <laughs> he just has to, to talk, so he doesn't look like a bitch. I gave him a little Sharpie mark every time we should do an ad. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. It was like the rings on a tree. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, okay. Two hours Can't till our first ad. <laughs> it's so fucking far off. It's so far in the distance. Damn, Owen, Owen left, but he got the haircut too. Was he yeah. trying to copy off you? Two bald heads, like a million dollars worth of game. No, he had a haircut before me. Oh, and you wanted to get in in his lane. Yeah, pretty much in his lane, Maxwell. I used his, uh, <laughs> I used his, uh, his blade. Did you really? Wait, did he give himself that fade? He did the. He started it out himself, and then he had. He then went he to went to the local to, Dominican. Yeah, to finish it off for him. Why are the Dominicans so nice in a fade, bro? What is it in their culture that fucking prepares them for that? I think I, I think I would look better with the buzz than the fade, though. I think I would look weird with the fade. Yeah, it's all about head shape. Yeah, <laughs> and I got a good ass head shape, bro. I don't have the greatest hairline, though. Head shape is fire, though. I got like just a little hair right here, and that's it. People concentrate on the hairline, but they never talk about fucking head shape, bro. No. People need to give you your flowers for your head shape. I'm telling you, it's like that dude Sinead O'Connor, bro. <laughs> Sometimes I just got to get my shit right, make sure I'm clean. Just smacking the sides of it sounds good. Even the sound of it bristling. Oh yeah, it's ASMR. Bristle that shit into the camera, dude. You pick up any hobbies while you were you, while you were teened up? Yeah, in your teens, I did nothing productive. Really? No, just, not until today I did something productive. What was that? What was that? Oh, cleaned up. Can't tell you, bro. Got a little shit in the works. You cleaned up your, your department? No, but we are doing that. We're moving. Oh, you got something else in the works? Please. He does? <laughs> big? Big, big? Big tings. Big, big tings. <laughs> what is it? That's an Apex. That's an Apex reference. The big tings. <laughs> oh, fuck. I fucking love Apex. Bro, I can't tell you what it is. Why, why can't you tell me? 
Am I untrustworthy? You, are you saying that you can't say it live on the pod? Or are you saying I'll never know? Because the big thing is most likely never happening. Oh, so it's really big. <laughs> you come to me on my daughter's wedding day. <laughs> I can't do it. Was that a Puerto Rican godfather? Yeah. You come to me on my father on my. <laughs> you come to me on my father's <laughs> wedding day. Oh fuck! Damn, bro. Is the uh, is it a is it a film role? Bro, please. I've said too much already. It is a film role. <laughs> Shut up. And do you have to audition? I did audition. You did already? Yeah. You sent something in, or you went somewhere? I sent something in. No way. With hair or yeah. without hair? With that, without hair. It was actually kind of a bummer. I forgot that I had to do it this weekend. <laughs> and then it's, that was the first thing I thought of as soon as the hair was gone. Yeah, they didn't. They weren't hiring a badass. No. They weren't hiring prison, no. prison sass. I'm probably not going to get the role. <laughs> Tell them that you can fucking throw a wig on. I, I was like, I, I tried to make it known. I was like, my hair can grow. I think it grows quick. I wore a hat the first way through and then they were like, redo it without the hat. So was it live? I was like, I don't know if you want me to do that. Was it live? <laughs> no. So how did they interrupt you halfway through? Because I sent it to this dude who's like got me the role. Really? Is it Adam McKay? But I've said too much. I've said too much. Dude, did you? I sniffed that out so fucking fast, dude. I'm a fucking truffle pig for your life opportunities. I could yeah. smell that shit a fuck a mile away. You ready for the silver screen, my brother? Yeah. Even if I don't get it, I was still fun to do. It's nice to I'm be considered. I'm not going to get it. You are going to get it. I definitely am not. It's is a it, pretty major role. <laughs> Isn't it? Is it par- role? Is it Paramount? No. Oh, is it, it's like the story of some th- somebody. No, it's a, it's a show. Oh, it's, it's uh, Succession. TV. Succession. TV. How'd you know? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Billions? Is it yeah, Power? It's the Friends, it's the Friends <laughs> reboot. <laughs> No way. Yeah. Who would you be playing, Phoebe? No, I'm playing uh, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> what were Joey's characteristics? What, he was the he gay say? one, right? He was the closeted one? I don't think he was gay. Uh, pretty sure he was closeted. I thought he was fucking in the whole show. That was like his thing. And it was like, it was his cry for help. He was always pushing spaghetti. Couldn't get hard. <laughs> <laughs> he was pushing that al dente pushing stick. Spaghetti. <laughs> he could He couldn't get hard because he was he was secretly uh That's good. I like that. <laughs> Use that in your big movie. Why don't you put that in your movie? Why don't you put that in your little show yeah. you're doing? <laughs> huh? I was thinking about how funny it would be if I just went totally off script. Like I wrote like a whole new scene. <laughs> <laughs> what you guys had was good or whatever. <laughs> yeah. This Sorkin guy or whatever. You don't know about me is I'm a writer. (laughs) I write. I write and act my stuff. So just my just my lines. The people I'm in in scenes with. Who was your scene partner in your little audition? Was it just the casting director? Did they have somebody sitting in that was like going to be playing the role opposite you? No, no. I had one of my friends uh, like read the lines. Is it better that they're good of an actor or bad as an actor? Because I would want to stock the deck with a bad actor and make myself. They're supposed to be like monotone. Oh, really? Yeah. But that would be a good time for Owen to fucking make his debut in the industry, for Owen to really take charge and uh, get his name out there if he I was know. a side actor. I would have, but I just didn't like. I didn't want them to come into my room because I was sick with COVID nineteen. Are you playing a teenager in it? Twenty three year old. How are you going to even do that? You've never even been to a bar legally. <laughs> How could you possibly method act that? I don't have the experience. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea what it's like to be a 23 year old. Nobody likes you when you're 23. You're in a beloved stage of your life. True. No one likes you when you're 23. Nobody that a song? likes you when you're 20. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was That's the, one of the songs that you guys do, right? For pop punk? No, I was trying to. I wanted to do it for the. Uh, when we were doing karaoke in Minnesota oh, yeah, yeah, for yeah, that yeah. kid's 23rd birthday who was trying to fight everybody. Speaking of which, Lettuce Club video came out today. I thought, I thought it came out well. It came out well. I thought it was funny. Uh, and it, yeah, uh, it was kind of hung around sass, honestly. It was. The yeah, narrative water. was, was uh, water. Me saying water. Yeah, because you're a true Philly guy. Dude, how was boys? Did you go skiing? No, the boys went yeah, skiing in boys. Yeah, that pissed me off. They, they went skiing? Yeah, I want to go skiing so bad. You know that I invited you to come to the boys trip. Yeah, but I had COVID. But I invited you before that and you had already said no. You wouldn't have got COVID if you were going to Boyce. Bro, I didn't know what Boyce looks like. I didn't know there was like mountains there. It's it's honestly what Denver wishes it was. Yeah. I would have gone if I knew what it looked like. When it, whenever I've been to Denver, I get there and I'm like, 
where's the fucking mountains? Because you can't, it's not like the mountains are like right there. Eh, you can see them, though. But from a lot of vantage points in the city, you, you can't, can't see them. Yeah. And everywhere in Boise, Boise. Like when you get out of the airport in Denver and you start driving to Denver, you can see the mountains the whole time. But then once you get into Denver, you can't. Which I don't like. But that's like a given. What do you, why is it given? I, it was like given buildings. I saw stuff. a Coors Light can one time that had the Rockies on it, and I assume that's what Denver looked like. If you drive closer to like Boulder, that is what it looks like. That's not Denver. But my point is that that's what Boise is like. That's what Boise does look yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. It's the all skiing looked nice. The skiing looked nice. The mics were out there fucking shredding, snowboarding. Yeah, so yeah. different discipline. The mics really were than, bombed. I couldn't make it. Yeah, but they were bombing down that fucking. Triple black diamond, bro. Yeah. You saw the fucking pow out there? I did. The pow was fucking incredible. It was a decent pow. Decent pow sesh. Strong pow situation. We went to this place called, uh, they told us that there's a bar out there where this 70 year old lady sings uh, 90s music and throws dildos out into the crowd. Oh, wow. So we said we had to be there. We couldn't miss it for the world. And sure enough, she's the owner of the bar. I don't know if she's 70. Um, and she has two buckets of dildos on stage, big, expensive ones that she just so she passes said, you out. Keep them? Yeah. You kept one? No, uh, she, no, I didn't keep one. I feel like I'd be taking it away from somebody who could actually, you know. You should have kept one, bro. Brought it in. And just showed it to you? Yeah. I don't want to f- go through security with a fucking uh, 24 inch double sided <laughs> dildo. Nothing illegal about that. It wouldn't have fit in my bag. It'd be sticking out the top of my backpack like nothing a weather vane. It'd be flying up there like a periscope. There's only something wrong with that if you make it. If you make something wrong, with we that. need to destigmatize twenty-four inch double-ended neon dildos. So was people it double, can, was it double-sided? Oh yeah, please. Why would it be twenty-four inches if it's, it's not lethal. double-sided? It's lethal. <laughs> it was like a nunchuck. <laughs> you see that dude? Uh, that dude from those fucking videos taking it away. That def- self-defense guy. You think that guy's self-aware yet? Mm, yeah, I think he's like kind of in on the joke now, which sucks. It's more fun funny when those people aren't in on the joke. And it's and it's even funnier when people are in on the bird dogs. Bird dogs. I just got to the notch in my cigar. That uh, it's bird dogs yeah, time. Are you not at yours yet, bro? You're slowly making your way through. I'm I'm almost done. With I them. made my first notch, bro. Then why didn't we do the ad at your first notch? I'm almost done. You're just a notch in my bird dogs, but you're just a line in a song. <laughs> Go to birddogs.com and use promo code Sun for some of the sweetest shit you will ever put on your body, specifically your lower half. I can't get enough of all the shit that they have for the lower half. Whether we're talking about the joggers, we're talking about the pants. Please. I know, love, and talk about bird dogs so much that I now get intentional ads, targeted ads on my Instagram for for bird dogs. They know I want more bird dogs. Even though I have bird dogs, I'm trying to load up on more bird dogs. You fuck with bird dogs? I love bird dogs. Shorts, pants, and joggers with built-in silky soft underwear. The most comfortable thing I've ever worn. And it's not even close. Damn, you're going to get that fucking role. Oh, yeah. Did you hear how you fucking just voice acted? <laughs> I'm, in act- I'm in acting mode right now, bro. I can't be stopped. Is that a... Uh... Was that fucking... Are you doing a Pixar movie? <laughs> <laughs> if you're doing Finding Nemo 3, that's fire. If you're like a little sw- a little runaway fish. Dude, I'm going to be pissed if I don't get the role because of my hair. That's got to be like, there's got to be rules against that. That's, yeah, honestly. It's called, that's called bald phobic. Tell them you'll suck off the director if, if they can just overlook your hair. If they can just push back the production until your hair grows in. I might have to. When is the production? Is it like now? Also, what films in New York? It's not filmed in New York. Law and Order SVU? <laughs> Are you a victim? <laughs> <laughs> we found his body 18 Bro, hours ago. Given, I've already given off way too much information. Dun, dun. It's not filmed in New York. And Where's I w- the film? I refuse to say where it's filmed. Oh, Miami? No. Oh. You're not going to LA, bro. No. They haven't even got Omicron yet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go there yet, bro. You'd be blown away if you knew where it was filmed. Shut up. Oh, yeah. England? You're going to be fucking a Peaky Blinder? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I'll, subtitle I'll, I sass. I did, but they said, I, like, they, they were like, the dude was like, best to just forget that you even did the audition. It was that bad. No, he was just like, he, usually, like, you don't hear back if you don't get it. But they probably, you probably won't know for at least like a, like a couple of weeks. Really? Yeah. One time I did the, I did an audition for this, uh, this movie, this battle rap movie, the, and the director brought me in and, uh, he, he like sat me down and I like did my first audition. 
and I was like in battle rap mode. And at, afterwards, he was like, "There's a a shouting quality to your acting." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Damn!" And so he basically had me sit there while other people audition to be like, "This is what it's supposed to look like when people really? audition." <laughs> then he had me audition again, and I still didn't get the part. <laughs> they have one play you. Uh, basically, yeah. And, I mean, I was a role in the movie, but I wasn't. I wasn't like the lead role that I was auditioning yeah, for. Yeah. But it was it was a humbling process. That a humbling, sucks. humbling to go through the process. Well, I love bird. <laughs> Uh, they stole Lululemon's designer, and now they're doing it way better. The shorts are elite, and the plants blow Lulu. ABC and commission pants, pants out, out of the, the fucking, fucking water. water. Airbirds is Airbirds is not afraid to say all fuck. birds. All birds. Do you say Airbirds? All no, it's bird dogs. Fuck. Please edit that. <laughs> no, it's bird dogs. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking bird dogs. Bird dogs is not afraid to say fuck. These pants only these pant these are the these are the only pants you should own. Let's go to that. <laughs> Let's go to birddogs.com promo code sun. Line. <laughs> <laughs> and boom, a free pair of bird dogs football. Shit, dude. Right, you gotta finish this up. I'm it, struggling right now. Is it the, the cigar? cigar? It's the COVID and the cigar. Come this, on. The cigar is kicking your ass You're right now. Me? You know that the fucking cigar is good for your chest it's good for your chest blood. <laughs> <laughs> That's what troops would always say. Really? The weed is good for your chest blood. No, I was gonna say troops definitely doesn't smoke troops, not a stogie guy. What, bro? No. Yes, he's a stogie guy. I know troops, he's not a stogie. All the men done from the UK are stogie guys. Make sure you rotate that thing, Owen. It's going to get a real nice light for you. You don't want to get a canoe. Trust me, the last thing you want is your stogie canoeing. Seriously. The only canoeing I do is down the fucking Susquehanna River with my boys in a fucking six-pack. Uh, real. And uh, this is one of the best pro podcast promos we've ever had, okay? This is where Sass left off. BirdDogs.com. You're going to get that football, too, because that thing is fun. Promo code SUN. They'll throw in a free Bird Dogs whistle football. You remember those Nerf Vortex Howler footballs? Well, this one is that, but way fucking sweeter. It's birddogs.com, promo code SUN, and boom, free football with your pair of bird dogs. You will not take these things off, I fucking promise you. I promise you that. You will wear them day after day after fucking day. I'm hoping that I'm going to get some bird dogs in my stocking this year. Yeah, a nice pair of pants in your stocking. Shoot. Oh, never mind. Today's the 20th, right? You still have some time to do some Christmas shopping? And my mom's birthday is tomorrow. Shut up. Yeah. And it's the solstice tomorrow as well. Yeah. You never knew your mom was born on the solstice? No, I did. I, don't I just didn't know my, I didn't know the solstice was born on the same day as my mother. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're the tough, the tough voice fucking plays so much. You're like uh, Channing Tatum's character in 21 Jump Street, low key. Is my shit looking right? You should get a line in your eye, in my eyebrow, dude. I was. Dude, got, let's I was do a line in your I'm eyebrow, COVID bro. Again, the eyebrows are going. No, just a line in it. Now they're both going. Get a line in it, and, and some, I got some thick ass eyebrows. And get and two hoops. Zzz. Imagine if I came in today with no eyebrows. Uh, I would definitely not get the role if I did that. It wouldn't surprise me. I feel like that's the kind of crazy shit that goes on when you. <laughs> Bro, you ever suck dick, bro? Because that shit looks fucking sexual, bro. That shit has me horny, bro. It's like spear sucking a dick. I mean, I'm flying through this thing. You barely even made a fucking dent in yours, bro. You call yourself a man? You're no. Oh my god, you gotta relight it. If you can't keep your stogie lit all the way through, you're not a stogie smoker. And I Joe just Rogan bite it for the look. I don't light it. Will Smith told me that, bro. We haven't recorded in a while. We haven't recorded since you... Since Shane Gillis. Talked to Dave. Yeah, we haven't. <laughs> <laughs> the mood all changed. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Want to talk about it? Nah. Not really, to be honest. Like, we, there's not really much to talk about. I didn't get a raise, bro. Living fucking paycheck to paycheck. Just got a new expensive ass apartment. Can't even afford to pay it. I was thinking about picking up a second job. Damn. That was a good life. Waiting tables? No, I was thinking like Chipotle or something. You should work on the docks. Be a dock boy. I heard those guys get benefits. Like, uh, yeah, that would be nice. Get out on the water a little more. 
Well, it's just a dock, really. You're kind of inside like a big ass warehouse, just moving shipping containers around. <laughs> but shipping containers are part of the fucking economy, man. They are. I was in a truck while I was out in Boise, and the truck driver told me, check, get this, a woman truck driver Whoa. told me that if the truckies stop fucking driving around within three days, there'd be no fresh food on the fucking shelves in all of America. That's not surprising at all. Because we have such Salt a demand for fresh food. Salt of the earth. We just want everything fresh so fucking badly. There's a truck strike in Colorado. Yeah, big time. They won't enter Colorado, right? Mm-hmm. Why, why is that? Oh, because some dude died. Some dude got sent to prison. Yeah, his brakes like gave out and he hit four people and they died and he got sent to prison and the company wasn't held responsible at all. The company that like was like that he was driving the truck for. And uh, he got to, he, he went to jail. He yeah. got in trouble. So the truck drivers are standing. The truck drivers are in favor of the manslaughter of, of, of him because they think that the company should be held liable instead of him. Which I get. And I'm on their side. I would, if I had a hat, I'd tip my cap. <laughs> the the company say, should I'd be. I'd say the truck drivers need to kill more people. What about the people? <laughs> what about the people on the road, though? What about those people that got uh, unfairly? Like, was he murder? slamming the brakes? Yeah, the people that got murdered. His brakes were... His, no one sticks up for the, the, the people who got murdered anymore, they bro. They deserved it. <laughs> no, his brakes... Should have been there. His, yeah, his brakes gave out, I guess. I don't know. But I was thinking we should go down there. Colorado? Christmas. Stand with the truckies? Well, I, not in Colorado. You would, have, you would have known that if you were paying attention to the story. So why are they they're boycotting they're not, Colorado? They're entering Colorado. So... I don't fucking understand. There's like a big ass line of trucks outside of the border of Colorado because they all are refusing to enter Colorado. Are they just driving around Colorado or no, are they just standing parking. outside? They, they all land what the fuck? Park. That shit doesn't make any sense. It's pretty sick. I would love to be a part of a strike. Well, you we need a strike. You need another. Je- Whoa. <laughs> we now, you're ta- now you're talking, brother. Yeah. Like a, what, or like a lockout or something like yeah. that. Yeah. A walkout. A walkout. Yeah. yeah a fucking walkout. We get all the fucking. We, we get Tommy Smokes. We get all the Team Portnoy and just. Uh, or a union? We fucking unionize. Have you ever been a part of a walkout? Uh, no, I think that I think we tried in high school or yeah, something like that. High school and they basically red rovered us back. Really, we they, so we did a walkout. Uh, it was like when school shootings were like a really really big like they were happening every week, which I'm sure they still are happening every week. But they were like the bad ones were happening every week. And you wanted the gun the the gun companies to be held responsible instead of the school shooters. <laughs> so, kind of sounds like what you're saying, brother. <laughs> so everyone's like, they organized this big ass walkout. And like the cool thing about a walkout is you're kind of saying like, fuck you to the school. Like if you're in school, and you're doing a walkout. But then of course the school like got on board with it and they were like letting us all walk out and they like set up rules. They were like, leave your backpacks inside. It's like this isn't how a walkout works. It's like the protests in like 2020 where they're yeah. like, COVID's happening, but <laughs> yeah, you guys can have this one. Like a walkout is supposed to be like, we're supposed to be walking out. The teachers are supposed to be like trying to pull us back, but we're so determined that we don't let them. And the teachers were like uh, joining up with you. Yeah. Like the teachers like walked out with us and we're like doing like head counts outside to make sure we all got out safe. Should we crack a door in here? Yeah, it's getting <laughs> fucking <laughs> smoky in here. I was getting like a head rush. <laughs> the success is going in and out. <laughs> pump that door a couple times, Owen. Just give it a little dude. pump. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of a pump. Bro, Sorry lights. about that, Kyle. Oh, <gasps> shit. <gasps> now, now I'm getting like a little lightheaded. How the fuck does Rogi do it, bro? bro. That's probably why he trained so fucking, fucking hard. He's probably got fucking ventilators in his... Uh, Turn on the fucking vents, bro. That's probably why he's always Holy doing fucking... Holy shit, dude. Jiu-jitsu, bro. I sh- that's why I let mine go out, man. But you peer pressure me in, man. I try to walk away from the game. You fucking drag me back in. Bro, I'm not going to let a little bit of smoke stop me from finishing off my stoke. Hell yes. This will be my first time ever smoking a full cigar. If you finish it. Is that life experience or what? If you don't wind up flat down on the floor like Tyron Woodley. <laughs> Dude, that was crazy. That knockout? That was crazy. Now that your head's shaved, though, I do think that you could fight him. Jake Paul? Yeah. Or Bryce Hall? Either one. Or Dave Portnoy. Why don't you leave it? Leave it open, Owen. Yeah, let's leave that open. Or let's Dave Portnoy? You said you want to you fight Dave? Here. Rough and rowdy? It wouldn't be much of a fight. <laughs> There'd be two hits. <laughs> 
<laughs> you hitting your cigar and him Me fucking hitting my cigar and hitting him the fucking floor. <laughs> <laughs> he just goes down choking in a fucking ball of smoke. <laughs> I'd give him one of these. This is his face. The one hitter quitter. Oh shit. And then I disappear into a cloud of smoke. Houdini out of that bitch. I might just become a cigar guy. Just always got a cigar on me. I think you could. I used to be an apple guy. I would always have an apple on me. <laughs> That's basically the same thing. Now my mom's calling me. Pick up, bro. Please. Shit might I'm be smoking Im- right now, ma. Shit might be important. I'm smoking ma. right now. What? It might be it might be important that she's fucking calling you. It's not. How do you know? Because I know it isn't. When was the the last time you talked to her? Yesterday. What'd she say? She said, you're not smoking cigars still, are you? (laughs) And I said, look, Ma, it's either you or the cigars. (laughs) And right now... Well, here I am. She's getting put on fucking hold. (laughs) You're a stogie, man. You fucking got the stogies in a goddamn chokehold. Goddamn, that shit is sweet. Say what you want about Sass, but he can fucking smoke a cigar. <laughs> that guy chiefs. That kid can handle his cigars. <laughs> that guy's Chief Wahoo, bro. He can suck one down. He can go fucking hard. Were those the slippers that you were in the entire time? No, I just threw these on today. I love them, though. L.L. Bean. Oh, fuck yeah. Great brand, no man. Free no free ads, though. Um, There's nothing better than smell of being on Christmas, though. Can't lie. But I hate wearing that kind of slipper. Hold it up for the camera. Just hold it up. Yeah. Loose hamstrings. I hate wearing that kind of slipper with no socks, though. Oh, yeah. Me too. Because it, it gets weird. your shit so sweaty. So it feels good when you put it in, but like once your foot starts sweating, it's a little bit too warm for the feet. No, I feel that. They got to get some ventilators on those bitches. Some uh, fucking fans inside of them like a, a mascot. You know, mascots have like fans inside their suits. Bro, you never wanted to be a mascot when you grew up. I did. I wanted to be a mascot in high school. Then you realize all they do is get like the shit beat out of them by little kids. <laughs> little kids will just come and kick them in the stomach. I was like, bro, I have a, I was like, I have a gift to make people laugh. I was like, no one could be a better mascot than me. I'm a physical clown. And I realized that we don't even have a mascot. Like, why is the tiger sulking around in the corner <laughs> over there? You think you have the body language to be a mascot? No, not at all. Yeah. I don't have like the confidence to do that. To just go up to someone. You might inhi- inhabit the character, though. Yeah. Is the character that you're supposed to be playing on this uh, sitcom or whatever, Curb Your Enthusiasm, whatever you're doing, is that uh, is it a similar character to who you are? Or do you think that it's... Uh, you like don't really know much about... like I don't really know much about the character. Dude, you got to get the fucking role. I hope I do. See if you can re audition. See you, if you could send you, in you another. Knew where it was, too. And we're, of course, the boys are all going out there because we got to do the podcast. Oh, for real? It's game changer. Holy fuck, bro. New Zealand? Lord of the Rings fucking part seven? Let's just say it's not It's not quite the East Coast time zone. Ah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Detroit. Oh, yeah. no, Detroit. <laughs> no, Detroit. Detroit's on the same time zone as us. Yeah, you're right. You fuck. Dumbass. Fuck, bro. But people think of it as you the Midwest. You might have that COVID brand. No, it's just this fucking Macanudo, bro, is kicking my ass, bro. I know. I'm I, not I fucking. Honestly, I didn't see you. I didn't think you were a pussy ass bitch until right now. Yeah, I didn't think I was either. It's fucking eye open. You got to go yak. I can go solo for a bit. No, I'll throw up right here. <laughs> I'll throw up on my on fucking stomach. Just throw up on the cords, bro. Yeah, just throw up on my fucking, on my new boy dad sweatshirt, by oh, the yeah, way. those are fly. Are those out yet or no? I, I think they come out this week or next week. I just sent an email about this. Let's see if, let's see if the fucking, if people are serious about helping Sash really get some more fucking money. Those are fly. Uh, I haven't got a response yet. Wow. Almost okay. an hour. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'm a second class citizen here. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that kind of just shows the respect that people have for us around here. Seriously, they want us to get shit done, but then we try to get shit done. And then uh, what happens? We get handcuffed. Fucking. This isn't some BDSM shit, bro. America. Uh, Poor noise always trying to handcuff for, someone. You going home for the holidays? Uh, Yeah. Yeah. Down to Pennsylvania. PA. Yeah. You know how that shit is, man. Fuck yeah. When are you going? Uh, Wednesday. Nice. Some shit like that. Probably gonna go see the fam. Little last minute Christmas shopping, bro. Oh, yeah, I've been you there. You know how that I've shit is, there. man. What uh, what are you hoping for this year? I didn't ask for anything because I already have so much money. So I, I asked for another gun. I want another gun. Yeah. I well, that's literally what I want. AR fifteen. <laughs> I want myself. I want my own personal written house. <laughs> 
<laughs> Rittenhouse model. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what if he gets like a gun model like uh, like will. Jordan's? <laughs> Dude, those interviews with him are so weird. I uh, haven't. They haven't been coming across my algo. You haven't seen them? I mean, I haven't seen them in a couple weeks, but when they first came, were coming out. They're like, oh, wasn't he like, I'm getting pussy now. <laughs> yeah. And then he'd like shoot his gun into the air. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> <Bam>. <laughs> like Yosemite Sam. Yeah. I'm fucking now. Yeah. The worst one was when he's like, he's like, yeah, I saw like a TikTok and they were like, oh, I can't wait for the 26 year old uh, conservatives to take Kyle's virginity. Too late. <laughs> That's how he says it. Too late. Too late. Too late. I already lost my virginity. I've been Ooh. fucking off my murder. And they're like, they're like, Kyle, what kind? What do you look for in a woman? And he's like, I like thick. He's like such like a little little bitch. Yeah, I know I could beat his ass. You I know I could fucking beat his ass, especially right now, bro. Oh yeah, you could probably kick the fucking. Bro, despite the hairdo, Kyle, me and you are not on the same side. Okay, right? <laughs> despite my skinned head, I am not a skinned head. Yeah. Okay? Don't fucking get it twisted, Kyle. Um, yeah, fucking sweet sweet AR with the fucking, like... With the fucking bump stock, bro, in the stocking. And the, yeah, the military fucking, like, the white camo print on it yeah. or something like that. Oh, that would be sick. Or the pink john. Just yeah. to, like, throw fucking gender fluidity out the fucking window. Oh, yeah. Throw gender rolls out the fucking window and fucking shoot someone with a pink gun. Louis C.K. was uh, surprisingly, like you wouldn't really expect it, very pro uh, like trans community and everything in his special. I didn't realize he's a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's dope. I don't. It was, why? Why? It was like surprising. Why would see. you be surprised by that? I don't know, because like I feel like most comedians like that aren't. Like what though? That most comedians that uh, like I don't think he's even like that edgy of he's a. Not. Or I guess he kind of like, is. He isn't though. Like I was expecting it to be like the comedians that we see like in New York are more edgy than he was. Yeah, he doesn't really say anything crazy at all. But maybe it's also like a New York thing, and maybe what you're seeing is them like trying to be edgy to try and find a voice and like or get outside the box a little bit. Yeah, maybe. Like I don't even know if he needs to get outside the box. No, dude, he's so big. I wonder, like, and the fact that his special is ten dollars and like thousands, hundreds of thousands of people buy it, he must make ridiculous amounts of money. Yeah, a Patreon or whatever. Also, he comes out to Bob Dylan and he closes out to Bob Dylan, which I loved. He's basically your spirit animal. He is, dude. What happened no is to everybody having a spirit animal? I feel like nobody's had a spirit animal in like two or three years. I'm getting a headache from the cigar. Headaches are my fucking spirit animal, bro. That is that is your spirit animal. Take a couple breaks from it. Why don't you put it down in this ashtray over here that I have? Nah, nah I'm why? Not gonna, I'm not gonna put down the cigar. You're gonna put down the cigar eventually, or the cigar's gonna put you down. No, I'm gonna go down until it's right in my thumb. <laughs> that cigar's gonna whip your ass, and, and that that's I fucking promise. promise you. No, I'm promising promise. you. I'm promising you that that's what the fuck's gonna happen. This is kind of our. We have one more podcast this year. This isn't the year end recap. No, but in that one, we're going to have to figure it out because we're going to have to do it over Zoom. I know, dude. I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't love Zoom content. <laughs> were, those, were those supposed to be O's? Those were O's. <laughs> I don't like, so I think if you do the Zoom right, it's not bad. It's just like, there's a difference between like, like what some people do, which like use a real camera, use a microphone, record it on your own, and then mash them together. And, and then you could do like, just a straight up Zoom call and just hit record. Like that's gonna suck. But yeah, that's that's bad. But having yeah. a producer, I feel like having a producer with a good microphone or something like that. You reference Cody Co and Noel Miller, how yeah. they do it. Dude, and shout outs to fucking Cody for getting engaged, bro. Dude. It was that like the most shared post of all time. I saw it was trending. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> Every and there single was... person on from my hometown posted on their story. I almost threw it up on my story. Why? Because Cody Co is. Uh, I think a, he's just a very likable guy. He is. There was like no like not even any comments below it. It was just like likes and retweets. Like yeah. people just fucking loved it. Yeah. Or just like exclusive positivity yeah. about it. People just fucking people love them. Yeah. I, I love Happy love for them, bro. Happy for them. Are you actually, bro? I'm, I'll probably be invited to the wedding. Me and Cody are pretty close We're like this. Is that fucking true, bro? I wish, bro. I just wish he stayed in contact, you know? <laughs> that's, I guess that's the shame of it. Did he, what, he fucking, uh, he broke off? You bailed on me, bro. You fucking bailed on me. Why did he do you like that, bro? What, what is the fucking purpose of doing you like that? I just wish he, like, gave me a heads up that he was going to propose, you know? I would have liked to know that. 
Dude, this guy fucking DM'd me this week, and he was like, I, I was talking to this guy, so-and-so from Tiny Meat Gang, and he was talking shit about me. No like, way. What? Really? This guy from, not Cody <laughs> Coe or Noel Miller. I didn't really? know there was more people in it. Oh, this- they have like a whole other uh, podcast. Like they're doing like, they have like, they're starting like a podcast network. He, the dude just hit me up out of nowhere. He's like, this dude is talking shit about you. In the podcast? No, to this guy personally. This guy who what? I don't know, and I guess he doesn't know, was just, he was like, yeah, this guy was talking shit about you. He said, I messaged him to collab with you, and he said he'll check you out. He said, Lil Sass is funny, but his partner is not. What? <laughs> yeah, bro, he fucking bodied me. Fuck that. Yeah. Fuck his ass. I know. I don't, I'd never even heard of the dude, and he's just is bodied that, like, me. They do like a business podcast, I think, but it's like a comedy podcast, too. I don't know. Some guy, I don't know if I should that's even say nice. the guy's name. That yeah, wasn't that's nice. That's yeah, nice, that's what I don't understand. I never had I, I never had said anything or I don't know, just getting bodied. Nice, also, not nice of the other dude. Uh, why would he even tell me this? <laughs> people love doing that. He's like, people yo. love being like, yo. I just want to let you know this person said like the meanest thing you've ever I've ever heard about you. My boys all hate you. <laughs> yeah, I think you're dope. But yo, like, bro, don't listen to everyone. I try, dude, I don't listen to every single one of my friends because they all hate you, but I love you. I tried to tell my 270 person high school class about you and they uniformly hated you, but I think you're dope. All hundred, all 269 people think you suck though. I get people DMing Damn, like, bro. screenshots of uh, like their messages with their friends and they'll like send a tweet of mine. They'll be like, yo, that kid fucking sucks. I fucking hate that kid. And he's like, bro, I'm sticking up for you in this. I'm like, oh, thanks. Thanks, man. Yeah, what, though? Just leave me out of that. I fucking hate that loser. Just don't fucking tell me about it. Oh, I could have I could have made it through the whole day without having that fucking... Uh, thanks for the support, man. Just didn't know if I needed to see those other messages. This guy fucking hates you. <laughs> Damn, bro. All bro, right. this guy literally wants you to die. Dude, I it's crazy because I've been spending all my time getting my weight up, not my hate up. But... <laughs> I guess these guys want to get their hate up. <laughs> I don't even have hate in my heart. I don't even yeah. think of, of anybody. I really go out of my... But I think maybe that just comes with, uh, you know, wanting more for yourself. I think it just comes with uh, absurd levels of success. <laughs> Somebody's going to hate you. Like fucking French Montana said, man, if you don't fucking got no haters, you ain't Remember popping, when bro. Wallo gave us that speech on hate? What, what was he, what was he, he was like, talking bro, about? He was like, haters are advertising for you. <laughs> they are spreading your name. They're trimming your pubes. Yeah. With? Manscaped. 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 Love that. Love Do that something. transition. Yes, bro. The haters are fucking trimming your pubes, and they're using Manscaped. And this whole episode is coincidentally also brought to you by our favorite producers of ball trimmers, Manscaped, the global leader in below-the-waist grooming and they're leaving 2021 with a new product. Clean yourself into the new year with their ultra premium body wash. Also, special offer alert. Go to manscaped.com slash sun for 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. Four million men already trust Manscaped. And now it's time to join them. <laughs> this is like a man. This is a manly thing to do. Yeah, it really is. Uh, 2022 is on the way, and the last thing you want is to be the guy without with big ass fucking bushy. Oh, you're still going, bro. I bear, I read the introduction. Bro. Yeah, you already gave a promo code. Usually, we do that at the end. <laughs> yeah, Manscaped is like, trying I, this. I usually don't like to give it away. Well, well they're re- Manscaped is revolutionary, not only in their ball trimming. Uh, technology but in their promo code technology oh. and they'll put that shit right at the beginning of the of the ad read so so you get it right away look manscape doesn't play by the rules okay and that's what we love about them because we see ourselves as a very cutting edge podcast cutting edge cutting edge we're hip we're yeah. in the scene just like manscape and if you're cutting the edge of your of your pubes Use the lawnmower 4.0, which is here to take down every pube in its path. And I mean, that thing is fucking vicious. Oh, it doesn't miss. Sass, you could have shaved your head with the fucking... I literally almost did. Really? I almost did. But since it had already... Uh... But I didn't know if like the guard levels were the same as like a normal hair trimmer. Like a, like if that's used for cutting hair. So I was like, eh, probably shouldn't. Yeah. Because I feel like if I did that, I actually could have ended up bald. But I think that the so fucking... I shaved my set, there's not a stitch left. <laughs> You go scorched earth. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's the true brush fire. Oh boy. <laughs> I go baby boy pubes. I like to go to a barber to get my touched up. Yeah. <laughs> I go to yeah, lined up. I go to Owen's Dominican guy. Say, give me a fade, give me a taper, give me a Caesar around my ball sack. 
Can I get that lighter, bro? Go to manscaped.com slash sun for 20% off and free shipping for their first order. It will have you leaving, smelling, feeling like a million bucks. 20% off free shipping. Go to manscaped.com slash sun. 20% off free shipping. Go to manscaped.com slash sun. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Ow, dude. I just burnt the fuck out of my finger. <laughs> You got to get that back. We got to watch that clip back. Holy shit, dude. I, I was lighting it and then the whole thing caught on fire. Ow, I burnt the fuck out of my finger. Bro, when was the last time you even took a fucking puff? Bro? Now who's the cigar bitch, brother? <laughs> that hurts so bad. I'm the fucking I gotta cigar get a, I gotta get. I got to see that clip. I'm the new man. Yeah, I definitely clipped that. That's going viral. Oh my God. That was on is. purpose, bro. That was acting. You look like I a Tibetan monk who was fucking burning himself in protest. Low-key. On that fucking low-key tip. Welcome back to Son of a Boy Dad After Hours. We're going to take things real slow. Oh, fuck yeah. Cigars. Hey, you at home, why don't you light up something to smoke? Smoke along with us, whether it's pens, <laughs> flour, <laughs> wax, <laughs> oils. <laughs> That's actually like what, I, when I was like younger, sorry, my bad. When I was younger, <laughs> and I was... I was like super obsessed with weed, even though I didn't smoke weed. I would watch weed tubers and they would be like, what is up, everybody? What can make, <laughs> make sure you are smoking along, dabbing along, vaping along. <laughs> what was their content? What are they Dude, even talking weed about? Weed tubers got fucked hard. There were dudes with like 8 million subscribers on YouTube, like quit their job, like their whole life. They were getting like millions of views, like Custom Girl 420. Remember him? Custom Girl 420? No, I don't remember. What is up, YouTube, YouTube? What up? Right? That was that guy, right? Is that where you got the Gaydens from? The yeah. Cadence from? Yeah. Um, and they all their channels just got deleted. So fucked. Because YouTube decided that weed wasn't cool. What happened to the land of the free and the home of the brave? What happened to not what treading to on freedom? us? Like one time, can we get freedom? Can the government not fucking tread on us? Can I'm they sure not? still get fucking pulled from YouTube because we got a couple fucking stokes in our hand. Fully legal cigar. That's why we need to switch over to Spotify. I'm listening. You saying stick it to the man? Look, bro, I got an offer from Spotify. <laughs> 20 million. One year. It's going to fucking knock their socks off. It's I gonna... want that Pac McAfee deal. Yeah, I need that Pac McAfee deal too, bro. <laughs> I need to get that. I was hoping that that just didn't. Yeah, you didn't hear that. No, I hear everything, bro. I listen like a thief, bro. Yeah. You don't fucking know. Thief in the night. (laughs) Thief in the night. You got a haircut. The Bible says. Beating your wife. The Bible says. Fuck. There's like a Steve Harvey quote where he's like, the Bible says those who are comfortable with sleep, poverty will set upon him like a thief in the night. (laughs) 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 <laughs> and that shit always gets me going and they were like good answer yeah, listen to that every morning listen to that shit every morning what was he saying that was he motivational speaking oh yeah he does motivational speaks dude I'm with you on getting a side gig and motivational speaking might be mine dude cause I feel so like those people are just acting I'm about to be in a fucking A-list I'm about to be an A-list celebrity you Whatever. could you could Whatever. with that fucking haircut bro I'm about to be on my Brianna chicken fry shit yeah going into the clubs having strippers throwing money at me you did kind of shave your head, kind of like her boyfriend, bro. Really? Does he have a shaved head? He just shaved it like two days before you did. <laughs> I thought that's why you were doing it. No way. <laughs> that's, that's not why you did it? <laughs> I thought that was obviously why he did it. Is that not why? No, dude. This was a this was an independent choice, believe it or not. Really? I, I find it hard to, to believe that you were on your phone for 20 hours a day. And I wasn't even that. on my phone, bro. I was barely even on Twitter. I was playing Apex thinking about streaming but i'm not going to i don't want to ruin it why i don't want to ruin video games by making it like part of my job could be another good rev stream for the company brother (laughs) think about what they say up at corporate if they saw the numbies especially in q1 q1 is where you really put your footmark in the the whole rest of the year you believe that portnoy said that son of a boy had to lose his money for the company that's a tough look for us i don't but it's not true yeah that's clearly not true oh roan's fired up Yo, cut this. <laughs> cut this, bro. Ron's about, <laughs> Ron's about to go ape on us. Uh, ape shit. I would Everyone ever you say ape shit? Bro, I'm going to go ape shit. <laughs> I'm about to go ape shit on your ass. 
<laughs> you look like someone who would say ape shit with that new haircut. Dude, this haircut is fly. They don't want us to bust open the books, though. No. They don't want us to bust open the fucking books. And they know books. we could. And they know we could. When I walked out of Dave's office and said, you have no idea how high I can fly. <laughs> I was thinking about saying that. That's what Michael Scott says when he quits. Mifflin. <laughs> you have no idea how high yes, I can fly? Yes, you have no idea how high I can fly. <laughs> I should have said that. Just gone back to my desk. So obviously, I wasn't going to quit. And just sat down fucking that money. back on your laptop. <laughs> Also because I'm a fucking company man, believe it or not. It's a cash system, though. Who else is here? Who else is here right now? Literally, it's an empty office. It's awesome for the security guy. Except for the son of the boy dad squad. And the security guy said he would shoot someone for me earlier. Yeah. There was Goddamn a guy. Monday. Goddamn Monday it's at fucking... five. Office is dead. Unbelievable. Not my bar stool. And we've been in here all fucking day. Probably be here tomorrow, too, just to get some extra fucking reps in. And they got the nerve to tell me that I'm not a company guy. You know that we record for 15 hours every time we put out one hour? <laughs> yeah. We only Every take the best shit. Every sentence is chopped up. Okay. This is a fucking meticulous. <laughs> that was you like. You got the, no idea how hard I work. Early on in Call Her Daddy, that was really their, yeah, that's what they that's would what say. They were actually doing They right? were like, we're going to fuck. But I might, I mean, they might have just been saying that no, to I make it seem like. they did. Early on in Curly, uh, early on in Call Her Daddy, they, Daddy. Were, they chopped up like every single sentence. Yeah. Yeah. That's dedication, bro. They put it together like a ransom note. Yeah. It was like letter by letter, chopped in. Like a goddamn puzzle. That's why I love that guy, Mooj, man. <laughs> <laughs> From Mooj? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> what you this to- is your battle. You can fight that one yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love that guy. <laughs> the shit that he did from this for this company, bro. Built this thing from the ground up. Fucking unforgettable. He probably, he deserved the McAfee deal, really. <laughs> Isn't he like working? Doesn't Mooj like work for FaZe now? No, oh, he works for Joe Biden. Really? Yeah, he's in the White he's House now. He's on the now. campaign team? Yeah. You see that White House like press release that they did about COVID? Yeah, they, they like, said that you have like a long winter of death ahead of you. <laughs> yeah. They were like, they were like, those who are vaccinated, enjoy the holidays, have a great time. Those who aren't vaccinated, prepare for a storm. It sounds it's like be so- a long winter <laughs> filled with death and over, and over capacity hospitals. <laughs> The death of your family yeah. members. They literally said, like, prepare for the death of close ones <laughs> and loved ones. It sounded like a prophecy that would be foretold by, like, a witch with, like, a glass eye or something like that. <laughs> That's, like, absurd that they can say that. If you're vaccinated, prepare for the uh, the age of prosperity. Yeah. The land of milk and honey and untold bounties for your family. Prepare to meet your maker. If you're unvaccinated. Dr. Fauci. We will hunt you and we will find you. Dr. Fauci will come to your hero with a death squad. The Onion. Remember when, like, the beginning of the pandemic, The Onion had, like, an, or a headline that was, like, Trump campaign, Trump campaign, or, like, Trump campaign team fills Dr. Fauci's house with 250,000 dead bodies. <laughs> Oh, bro. Shout out to the homies at the fucking Onion, bro. I did a little bit of writing for them back in the day. For real? Basically all the good ones that you've seen. No way. I used to be in some stock photos for them back in the day. Really? No. (laughs) Anything you say, I would believe, because you'll just like drop shit like that. I know. Yeah, actually, one of my buddies started the Onion. Fire fucking- He was a rap battle. He used to rap battle. (laughs) A lot of the things, I mean- you never know, bro. Rap battlers are pound for pound some of the most talented people in the industry. They are. Everybody fucking knows that, bro. Got to write and perform your own shit. It's not like this happy-handed fucking Zoomer bullshit. Where fucking, <laughs> you know, have a whole fucking editing team when in I was fucking a kid, Japan. They didn't just hand shit to you. You had to earn it. You had to battle rap for it on the fucking stage in front of three judges on Freestyle Friday on BET. That was the measure of a fucking man. Is that what it is? So is there a Freestyle Friday? There used to be is on that like BET. An open mic thing. Like, how do you get into, the, like, I know you, I know how you got into it, but how does like a normal person just get into rap battling? Like a secret society will come up and tap you on the shoulder and be like that we saw potential in you, They'll come up behind you in a cloak. So there's like really nothing you can like do. Yeah. Like the first time I tried to get in one, I was like, can I be in a rap battle? And they're like, you have to have been in a rap battle first. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, how does one do that? How do you do your first one? Um, but Outside of that, I think uh, you just kind of start up your own league or just like spit some fucking bars, bro. 
Just yeah. go viral once, bro. That's the only thing you got to do. That's what you did, right? You went viral? Yeah. You went like world star viral. Dude, I'm trying to go viral in 2022, bro. You went viral with the Lettuce Club. Bro, I'm trying to fucking... I'm trying to bring it back. I'm trying to go viral in 2022 again. Fucking get some fucking numbies up. Sell some fucking merch. Dude, I think we should just start doing a bunch of live shows. I think we should actually go on tour. Okay. All right. No, you're not I, thrilled about that. No, I'll do it. Never mind, bro. I will do it. I think that... Uh, Never mind, bro. We go on tour. We fucking run the fucking pick and roll. Little okie doke on the fucking... On the fans, you know what I mean? Yeah. 20,000 people in a fucking venue. Yeah. Fucking $800 a ticket. Boom. Next thing you know, we're making some money for the company. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it takes. Yeah. I saw Dave down in Mexico. I yeah. said, <laughs> he needs to be in a nicer place than this. Flying spirit. His ass was flying spirit, bro. <laughs> that was, uh, like, those are obviously old pictures that you, that you decided yeah, to yeah. use. I actually didn't know that at first until... That the pictures were old? And then I was like, well, it kind of makes sense because the pictures are like grainy as fuck. Yeah. Nobody's wearing masks in the airport and shit. I didn't even think about that. Damn, you're smart. You're smarter than me. Yeah. You ever do those things where it's like, what's different in these two pictures? One of them. There's masks. Yeah, exactly. You ever do uh, workbooks when you were a kid? Yeah, I did. Were you ever homeschooled? No. Were you? You kind of have the homeschool vibe. Don't say that shit, bro. That's an insult. How? That's a big insult. How? Because most homeschool kids end up being serial killers. <laughs> like Who do statistic. they kill? Their fucking parents? <laughs> Start off with their parents, yeah. <laughs> they have no school to shoot up. <laughs> it's the fucking safest place for a, uh, a serial killer. Homeschooling. These, what uh, what are your goals for, for next year? While you, yeah, while you, you take New Year's resolutions? Uh, to get down to 4% body fat, first of all. <laughs> This past Good luck, bro. Th- this past year, I learned to love pineapple. I'm hoping for uh, for papaya this coming year. As far as new fruits to try, uh, new vegetables to try, I'm hoping for broccoli. Hoping to put broccoli on the. Uh, you don't eat broccoli. I eat broccolini and broccoli rab, but you never just don't like broccoli. I just don't like the, uh, the texture love- of it. You ever have a good good broccoli? No. Never have some good broccoli. Like I have, Old I've had expensive up. broccoli, but it's never been good to me. Wow. Yeah, what about Brussels sprouts? You like Brussels sprouts? I like Brussels sprouts. Love Brussels sprouts. I feel like Brussels sprouts have the most upside of any vegetable. Yeah. My New Year's resolution is going to be to uh, start cooking like everything at home. Really? Yeah. Even lunch. I'm going to start prepping my, my lunch. I don't know. I saw a pretty scary clip today of some rapper trying to put like some grease. He was trying to like, he was frying something on his stovetop and he tried to put the grease in his sink and it like bubbled up and like fucking like... You're scarred his face or some shit sink. yeah i mean he didn't know that and there's little tricks like that about cooking that i feel like people don't necessarily know I, I like the the main problem with cooking for me is like running out of shit to make also it just is a pain in the ass but i, I know what? i know for a fact if i there's like, every dish in the world yeah, you could cook a new thing every day for the rest of your life some things are harder to cook I, I, but i know i know for a fact that if i started cooking at least Five days a week, I would feel like insanely better because I am like, dude, I feel so shitty right now because I just had, I've had takeout for every single meal for the last 10 days. Yeah. And the shit that they're serving for takeout is not like the the no. best quality ingredients. No. It's not ass. even just like, there's some processed shit and there's some frozen shit and there's even maybe a little bit of fresh shit. Shout out to the truckers out there that are yeah. bringing it fresh to yeah. us. Not but in Colorado though. But there's, yeah, no one in Colorado is eating fresh, wow, poor right souls. Now, they need to start fucking cooking for themselves. But I feel like there's just no, it's just, uh, I went to this like restaurant last night that was all, it was all fish. It was just like a beautiful seafood restaurant. Yeah. And the person that recommended it, we were talking to them and, uh, and he was saying he was going to like take a walk after we're like, oh, that's why like he's an Italian guy. It's like, that's why Italians stay so thin. Yeah. And they walk. And he was like, no, I, we stay thin because we don't eat like the fucking shit that all Americans are just dumping into their body. The yeah. fucking processed shit. What was your most ordered thing while you were over quarantine? What you're doing your little. I didn't eat a lot was the thing. I would really, I would order a breakfast sandwich and a coffee from the same place every morning. I was good. And then I would uh, usually just order something at night. Tried to keep it light, like sushi, stuff like that. Yeah, something for the bod. I feel like that's nice. Sushi's a little bit but light. Then last night I was like, I'm starving. So I went to the fast options, got a Popeye's chicken sandwich. They brought me two. Fuck. And I ate both of them. Damn, bro. Within 10 minutes. They don't realize that you're trying to avoid being skinny fat. Yeah. 
and that shit was good. How many push-ups were you on a day? Zero. It's tough to stay motivated, like exercise wise, when you're just in your room. I was doing squats though, in between uh, Apex games. So it's you're saying, so how if you're? I did two sets of squats <laughs> the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> how many per set? Like 15. 20, 15? Yeah. So you did thirty squats and I was the entire time by the end of them. Really, dude? When I went for that walk, I did. I got like six thousand steps on this walk. It was a long walk. Okay, and I was like cramping up. And I was gassed the whole time. Did you have like night sweats at any time or anything yeah. like that? Yeah, big time. The whole time? No. Just like once or twice during the entire thing? Yeah, dude. I get like night sweats every time I take a nap. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Last Yesterday, I took a long ass nap, like on accident. I was set my alarm for 10 minutes, slept for two hours. And, uh, and I woke up like soaked in sweat and like felt disgusting. Huh. Makes you think. Yeah. <laughs> What does it make you think? Just makes you think <laughs> that your body's getting rid of toxins, dude. But I heard toxins might be bullshit. I heard that toxins. I heard that. They, huh? I heard that. Yeah, it's going around, dude. Toxins might not even be a real thing. You never know what's fucking real. No, you don't. Especially with the media these days. Like, there's like fucking like infrared shit that people will put up to their face to try and like stop aging or something like that or like there's like lights you can shine on your back to try and make you like not feel pain like what the fuck are they talking about you know what i was just talking about what the fuck were you just talking about bro driving sober or getting pulled over is this an ad oh yeah i love this shit bro i love ads like this because sometimes we have to look out for people over the holiday season and, and, and make look, sure. I know son of a boy dad is like a bit like our followers like to get fucked up and let's like be real. Drive. Let's put down the cigars for a second and let's be real on this one. I can't put down the cigar. Bro. <laughs> okay, bro. No. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, that's ridiculous. And you can smoke a cigar. I'm not while saying you're I'm not saying no stogies and not in driving. <laughs> okay. Especially that would there's be nothing. I like more than a stogie while I'm driving. That would be fucking crazy, but and it's more little, about just a little tipsy. It's more about the NHTSA folks, the N H T S A folks, the traffic. <laughs> safety administration folks and they're pushing this drive sober or get pulled over campaign you're hanging out with some friends you're putting back a couple drinks a few becomes a few too many the evening comes to an end people start to head out they start and you you think of calling for a ride and you say to yourself no i live nearby i can i can make it home okay it's not a big deal what are the odds you get pulled over anyway and even so what are the odds you lose your license you lose your job yes you're your insurance goes up. You kill someone. Yeah. What are the odds of that? And people don't necessarily think about that, but they no. ha- they sh- they fucking should be. All they think about is, oh, I can get from point A to point B. Yeah. Go to the Uber. It'll be fun to Uber back in the morning to get your car it's- so you can go back into your friend's house and you can talk about how funny and fun the night was. Yeah. It's also fun to Uber. You get to fuck with the Uber driver a little bit. Yeah. Throw up. You get to throw up in the little back the back seat compartment. Better their car than yours. Throw up all over the cup holders. Pick the pick the fucking Christmas music. Put on the yeah. fucking Mariah Carey. All I want for Christmas is you fucking mix. Yeah. Sing with your friends at the top of your voice. Put your hands over the Uber. Just kidding. You don't put them over their eyes. You Only don't a do that. Times. Yeah, just a couple times they at red lights. Stoplight. At red lights. But they aren't drunk because they're Uber driving. They're doing this the smart Hopefully thing. Hopefully and you need to do the smart thing too. So if you think you're okay to drive after a few drinks, think again, play it safe, plan ahead and get a ride. One is too many. In yeah. The book. It only takes one mistake to change your life or someone else's life forever. Drive sober or get pulled over. For more information on the drive sober or get pulled over campaign, visit www.nhtsa.gov slash drive sober. Or get pulled the fuck over. Yes, bro. Fucking rhyming shit. It fucking helps you remember it, man. It does. If you could have had, uh, like, if you could have taken one class when you were young, what would it have been? If you had one skill that you could have fostered since youth to be able to carry into your adulthood, what would it have been? I guess uh, something that I wish that I was better at now is editing video. I mean, I, I, I'm pretty decent at editing, but I wish I was like Quig's level of editing. Yeah. Like graphics and, and animation and shit like that. That would be sick. To be able to make like deep fakes. After effects. Yeah, that would be sick. To be able to make it seem like fucking... Because yeah. I love like... like I'm pretty good at Photoshop. And I love like deep faking people on Photoshop and shit like that. Like I think it's hilarious. I think it's fun to do. Deep, deep fake people with a set of abs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, I wish I could do it on video. You know? 
Yeah. I just wish I fucking could. That's the goal. But I can't. Well, now picture yourself as a 40-year-old, and you look back at the last 20 years of your life, all the time you could have spent learning how to edit. <clears throat> this is like a little Ghost from Christmas Past type thing? Yeah, this is a little fucking Ebenezer Scrooge dip. Yeah. What, what do you see now? Now I see a frustrated <laughs> young boy <laughs> sitting at his computer. He wishes he knew how to use After Effects, but he doesn't. <laughs> And can he learn over the next 20 years or? He can't. <laughs> he wants to so bad, but he just can't. And he never will be able to. Because you know why? Because he can't put down the goddamn cigars. <laughs> you need two hands to edit. Everyone knows that. <laughs> and you use two hands to smoke a cigar. You do smoke a cigar. You smoke it like you're choking down a dick. <laughs> like a flute. It makes the dick look bigger if you use both hands. <laughs> That's what <laughs> fucking. No. That was a joke from the movie I watched last night. Well, they stole that from Call Her Daddy. No, Call Her Daddy stole that from uh, Funny People. Really? Yeah. Well, fucking damn, bro. Call, that's like uh, War Mode used that in their intro. I thought uh, it, was, it makes the, the dick look smaller if you use two hands. No, bro. It makes him feel like your dick is bigger. Bro, you could barely fit one hand around my dick. <laughs> I never got that. I remember one kid. Barely? I remember when I was in like fifth what do you grade. Mean barely? I remember one, when I was in fifth grade, some kid told me that he uses two hands to jerk off. And I was like, no, you don't. But it wasn't fifth grade. It was like eighth grade. Yeah. Like, what is he trying to fucking? Yeah. I was like, dude, what is your dick? Like 10 inches long? You liar. He ain't pushing spaghetti. I was like, yeah. I was like, bro, you're a liar. He was like trying to massage a fucking golf ball out of a garden hose or something like that. That doesn't make any sense using two hands. No, it doesn't. Okay, but so what do you like? What? Do you, where's your phone? Plus, you got to and you got to use one hand to fucking hold on to the cowboy hat. Yeah, you ever fucking like you're in a rodeo? You got to use one hand to hold on to the noose. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't like trip and, and fall. That's how they got Epstein. Yeah. <laughs> All he wanted to do was catch a nut in prison. Yeah, <laughs> it'd have been. Four days since little girl pussy. I remember some dude in middle in like high school or middle school told me that like his neighbor died because he was jerking off with a noose around his neck. And I was like, that's the not true. And I still don't think that that's a thing that people do. It is. It is. What is it like? It's a thing that like one person has done ever. Auto erotic asphyxiation. It's definitely a thing. You got to work do. for everything. But you got to work for everything. <laughs> these days, dude. Damn, bro. Are you old or are you young? I don't know. Bro, if there was one thing I could go Ask back and learn. Every day. <laughs> you're an old soul, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what would you what would you go back and ask yourself? I would learn woodwork. Yeah, I, that was what I was I was that was in my head. Because that's more of a realistic thing to learn, I feel like. Yes, bro. You don't learn editing in high school. You learn that in, in college if you're like a film major. If you go back and you're just fucking making cabinets as like a nine year old or some shit, working with the fucking saw. Working with the fucking a single saw like you're one yeah. of the seven dwarves or a fucking table saw measure twice cut once type of shit, bro. Being in the shop fucking blowing some shit, maybe cutting off your ring finger or something accidentally. Yeah. You got a nub for the rest of your life. I actually uh, I you're, you took shop, I'm assuming, right? Uh, a little uh, in uh, college, not in high school. though. Yeah. Shop was a fun ass class. Yeah. Yeah. It was sweet. You're cutting shit. You're always cutting shit. I don't even know what we were cutting. I don't think we ever wound up with anything, but they teach we you how to a, cut. We made a cutting board which was cool like really nice cutting board like put a nice finish on and everything a my, lacquer you put a lacquer on that yeah. thing Woo! My, and my mom put it through the dishwasher and it snapped in half <laughs> really yeah you must have over lacquered it i know i think i did too much lacquer on that thing man jake when did your bitch ass learn how to uh how to edit uh, i started in like early college just kind of figured it out dude is jake is this your debut on yeah, son I've of a boy dad before thanks for having me yeah yeah. Holy fuck! This is Jake. Got this, and he knows how to edit. When's your When's your bitch ass learn how to woodwork? I never learned. So. Fuck, bro. That's surprising. Woodwork. I could see you being like a big woodworker. Do you think that that's manly, or you think it's try hard when like a grown man is fucking making a picnic table or I some shit like that? That'd be, that must be a great hobby. That's yeah, like, that's like got to be one of the best hobbies you can have. That and like playing the piano. Men who just like build a chair. The guy fucking made the satisfaction of it. Yeah. Didn't dudes just used to build houses? Yeah, people still do. My one of my like best friends, his dad like built half their house. That's so fucking crazy. I know. From scratch? Yeah. How do you build a house from scratch? I wouldn't even know where to start. I need to get a gang of my Amish buddies. I need to head up that dude's way, fucking buy Lancaster and fucking link up with the Amish, fucking churn some of my own butter and fucking raise a barn. You ever see those videos of the Amish dudes like the stop or the the like time lapse of the Amish dudes raising a barn together? 
You struggling with that cigar, bro? Yeah, I'm trying to put it out. Just drop it in the drop it in the thing. It was hot. No, don't put the don't don't put water on it. It's a cigar. It's a cigar. Oh, sass. Well, I just want to make sure it doesn't burst into flames. How would it burst into flames? That was a that was a fun smoke. Was it? Yeah, had a good time. Did it smoke good? It smoked good. <laughs> Not gonna be able to get the taste of that thing out of my mouth for the next month, though. It's gonna stain these clothes. Yeah. I put on a puff of cologne this morning, and now I have like the scumbag smell of cigar and cologne mixing with each other. Yeah. It's very, very scumbag-ish. It is. It's going to smell like you've been at like a strip club. Yeah. It smells like a fucking Pontiac uncle in a Pontiac or some shit like that. <laughs> you got an uncle in a Pontiac? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck, man. A couple. A couple Bro. uncles and a couple Pontiacs. We need to... You Do you believe in fucking vi- to, in verbalizing your goals in hopes that you'll manifest them into coming true? Yeah. Like writing yourself a check for a million dollars type of thing? No. <laughs> I don't really like know what my goals are right now. Like I would like to get this role for this show, but we'll see. Is it recurring or is it a cameo? Recurring. Every episode. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be sick if I got it. Please, bro. Is it a new show? <laughs> is it a new show? I can't say. Is it a new show? I can't say. I've already said too much. Okay, it's a new show. I don't show. want to jeopardize the opportunity. Okay, so but I just wanted to make sure you weren't being like an added character to an already going show, because that could be hard. I am. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, so it's not a new show? It's not a new show. Oh, so you'd be like uh, Cousin Greg's extra cousin on su- Succession or some Pretty shit much, like yeah. that. Or... Uh, but it's a big role. What shows aren't being filmed in the United States of America? Are you someone's brother in it? I don't know. Do you have siblings in the show? Uh, no, I don't think I'm anyone's brother. So you're only child in the show? I think so. How are you going to relate? I'll find a way. <laughs> Lock myself in a room for a month, Heath Ledger style. <laughs> what if you come out fucking twisted? I think you would do great things for the podcast if I was on a show. I think so too. I got you a roll too. Don't worry. I Thank you, bro. To I told them we're a package deal. Thank you, bro. That's the least you could do, man. Just put me on a little bit, bro. Yeah. Just let me fucking come to the set and fucking be the the might homie that rolls of, blunts. Hall to get out to the set. Oh, really? Nah, nah. <laughs> I said too much. It's in Chile. <laughs> this is one of those classic scenarios where, like, the amount that we've talked about it will have will ruin the role for no, you. No, it won't. No, it won't. We haven't said anything about it. I just said I'm auditioning for a show. You just said we have to go to Argentina for the no. one thing. <laughs> What shows are being filmed in Argentina? Bro, I did not say Argentina. No, oh, Australia. I wouldn't be doing it if it was in Argentina. Really? No, I don't know anything. They got the Argentina. best steaks down there, bro. The fucking cattle down there, bro. Fucking cattle's in- insane down there, bro. You would go nuts if you went to Argentina once. <laughs> we got to go down to Argentina. So where is it? It's in the, it's in the continental, right? Or it's in Hawaii? Say. I can't say. Oh, and it's in Hawaii? No. But it's in the I'm continental United, you, so it's not in the I'll United States. I'll tell you once the camera. Wow. But Vancouver is basically the United <laughs> States, right? <laughs> I would not be hyping it up if it was in Vancouver. You don't like Vancouver? I heard Vancouver is beautiful in the summertime. I heard it is very nice. Yeah, I would we, love to go to Vancouver. Pine trees. Yeah, I've heard it's like a cooler in New York. Really? Yeah. I don't know what to expect, but I heard that there's the like the ocean. In That's Van- like a big like senior trip in high school. Everyone goes to, people go to like Vancouver when they graduate. Yeah. They get thugged up. Is there a lot of uh, people get kidnapped a lot up there? No. Dude, maybe we should start fucking kidnapping people, bro. Yeah, that would be good for the pod. It'd be less scary, like, if we were the ones who were doing the kidnapping. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we're just throwing kids in fucking trunks or some shit. I'm spitballing, but it seems lucrative. The way that people are always on alert for it. You ever watch Dexter? Yeah. Have you actually watched it or no? Uh, the first season. You like it? It was all right. Yeah, I'm kind of getting to a point. Yeah. Shit's kind of getting a little turned off for me. Yeah. Mainly what? because I fucking hate Deb. The, who Who's Deb's, Deb's sister? Yeah. She sucks. Yeah. Yeah. He should kill her. He should. I wish Rudy killed her in the first season. Does, uh, is the show Dexter? Yeah. That you're going to be on? Oh, no, no, no. That oh, okay. sick. You're a son of Dexter? I don't have enough, like, soap, soapy skills for that. Yeah, it's too serious? Yeah. So yours would be a comedy show. No. So it's the guy, you couldn't play a drama role. Bro, it's The Office. <laughs> it's The Office reboot. I'm playing Jim. Shut up, dude. Give us a look. Give us a... a... 
<laughs> we needed a fresh gift with the new haircut. <laughs> I know, people love that. People one. love the gift. Do it a little bit slower and hold it a little bit more still. Yeah, dude, that's you can't that's, have a bald gym. You can, bro. A slim gym, bro. Um, but that's going to be one of your main skills with acting that you're going to need to to work on your stillness. You know what I mean? I'm you, very. I struggled with that in the audition. I was swaying around. The I whole know time. you need to be still. You just have to practice being still. Yeah, it's tough. You think you can do it? I like when I do when I'm like trying to be still. I'm like twitchy. Like feel every single muscle in my body like begging to move. You got to master that. That's one thing I learned about myself in prison. <laughs> My hand does not shake. <laughs> you got to do some breathing techniques to still your body out. I think that's all acting is, honestly. What I think the I people just sit, sit still. Yeah. I think that's all they do. I swear to God, I, I, think, I think they just don't move that much. It has to do with getting like super comfortable in front of the camera and like not overacting. Yeah. I think overacting is a thing that a lot of people fall into. Have you just say this shit and, shit and like stand perfectly still? I think underacting, I think directors probably nut for that. Yeah. I tried to. They said I did a good job underacting. They said they were like, they were like, you did a good job of not overdoing it. Really? Yeah. What that was, was one of your lines? So that was great. I can't tell you my lines. Why? Bro. What was one of them? It's not even released to the public yet. But I mean, there has to be one of the lines that was benign that no, doesn't give away I the can't. script. I can't, bro. Is it Avatar? It is. <laughs> Why do you think I got the hat? <laughs> They're going to paint this shit blue. <laughs> 11 foot sass. Yeah. <laughs> Just you in a fucking one of those like light up suits that they film video games in. Yeah. That would be sick. Did you see the Tom Holland clips of him like doing- Dude, that was nuts. I just saw that before I came here. He was fucking- He was doing backflips off of moving cars. Why can't you do that shit? I don't know. I'm not athletic enough It's to probably because he's short, Apparently bro. Apparently, he was like a gymnast or some shit. <laughs> really? Yeah. He has the stout body of a, of a gymnast. Yeah. He also probably gets got like the best training for that those stunts in the world. Yeah. He was also attached to a wire. Like, yeah, I know. It's like, dude, lose the wire. He's no Jackie Chan. Him. Yeah, seriously. It's hard take- to respect a man who does a backflip with a wire. Did you do him? <laughs> He's wearing a fucking wire like a fed. They need to take away that wire. They need to take away the net like in Batman. Remember when Robin's parents died? You ever see that Batman? Oh, yeah. The Batman, the Dark Knight? No, forever. Batman forever when Robin's parents died. They're like trying to get a bomb out of a circus tent. No, I haven't. They're seen like that. a trapeze family. His whole family dies. No, but I know that his parents are dead. Robbins? Yeah. It's fucking sad, bro. Because he's an orphan. I fucking relate to Robin more than any superhero character. Yeah? Did you see the videos of the people going nuts in the in the movie theater? Dude, that was so cringy. Uh, and I thought that at first as well, but then I like was, I like, was like, oh, yeah, must sports be fans. Punk. Yeah. <laughs> but dude, they were like live reacting like that to like everything that happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, just watch the movie. Like, I, I get, like, at the end, like, I know at the end of, like, the Avengers movie. It's why is it always only superhero movies? I know. Like, like uh, Black Panther, they all did the Wakanda forever. Like, they're all standing up in the theater <laughs> doing it. And then, like, at the Avengers, apparently, like, everyone was, like, bawling, crying at the end. Yeah, why? And I feel like uh, even some people, like, when, uh, like, Robbie and, like, Jeff Lowe and, like, yeah. Fran went, they were all, like, cheering and, like, crying. Like, the whole gang was, like, crying. I mean, I guess people are just, like, obsessed with it. And I guess people are obsessed as well with sports, but I think it's a little different when the sports are happening live. But maybe, I don't know, I guess it's your first time seeing things. Yeah, I don't know. But I, also, I damn near shed a tear when Soap died in Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> for real? Yeah, you're, you're along with him in that journey for the first two games. Yeah, bro. I'll fucking cry at a light breeze, though, bro. I fucking love crying, man. I don't cry. Yeah, right, bro. You build you, that shit up. You better start learning if you're going to be an actor. I know, right? That was what I was scared of. Because there's one scene where it like goes from funny to being like serious, and I like couldn't I couldn't do the transition. Really? I'm such a bad like serious actor. I know because you don't take anything serious in your life. That's mean. But you see how I stood still when I fucking <laughs> said it, though. <laughs> That's fucking acting, bro. I'm fucking Meisner, bro. I'm fucking Stanislavski, bro. Those, those bro, you're fu- Stan Nolosky. <laughs> bro, chill, bro. <laughs> All right, should we wrap it up? Yeah, uh, it's been an hour and a half. I think that we should get the fuck out of here. Than that. No, it's been exactly an hour and a half. The boys had a lot to talk about today. We were chewing the fat today. I'd love to know like, how many people get to this point. I think 15. All- all of everybody does. You think? Oh, what, dude? Once you pop the fucking fun, don't stop. That's why our last ad sells for more than our first ad. Really? If you get the last ad in the show, that means it's like you're batting cleanup. 
most valuable advertiser. Damn. Damn, they just shut off the fucking computers on us, though. I know. They're shutting off the fucking lights in here. That's how hard we fucking grind, bro. All right, well, thanks for listening, everybody. Hope you guys all have a great holiday season. Christmas, or if your Kwanzaa has already, I mean, your Hanukkah has already passed, shout out to that. But if your Kwanzaa's coming up, enjoy that. Uh, I think people are going to be listening because COVID's back. No one's going outside. Oh, fuck yeah. Well, so this might be a very, I'd say we're probably going to get like a couple hundred thousand listeners on this one. So it's going to be a dip? <laughs> <laughs> I meant to say like 300, 400K, probably. So it's going to be a dip? Yeah, probably. God damn it. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening, everybody. We'll talk to you guys next week. Peace. Yeah.